Hello. I thought I'd share with you my Operation X500 playset. I got this when I was four or five years old. It must have been either 1959 or 1960. I remember when my brother and I came downstairs for our Christmas surprise. This was all set up for us with all the decals in place, all the 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 men positioned, batteries in included, and everything all set up to go. And my brother and I had a lot of fun playing with it. It was a good toy for uh, siblings, two, two brothers, because basically you had a lot to do with each of the little, uh, the, the bases. There was the, the base defense and then there was the launch base. So I'd like to share this with you. This place that was only sold in uh, grocery stores because uh, they couldn't get a uh, reading it was the manufacturer couldn't get uh, any room in the Sears catalog uh, all the other manufacturers toy manufacturers had all their uh, previous marketing set up in place so they tried marketing this through toy uh, through grocery stores and as you can see here here's the uh, ad that they had and uh, it didn't really work as a marketing, uh, uh, as a strategy. They, they could only afford two or three sets per store, $11.88. It was quite a big uh, expense for mothers to buy and take home. So it didn't really work too well, unfortunately for reading. Uh, but it's a great set, and it's probably one of the most collectible play sets of this type. Let's look at the base defense. It's got the telescope up at the top, and of course, officers giving orders and stuff. And uh, there's a uh, radar on the left and a spotlight on the right. And the helicopter is a hard thing to come by. It's a rare piece. Um, I was lucky enough to get a almost complete set. Here the man's fueling it up there. And you have four different missile uh, systems that all fire. These little rubber tip missiles. There's double ones in the back. They both fire at the same time. And there's the single one with tail fins in the front. And you have those on both sides, as you can see. And in the front of this base defense, you have all these great little uh, switches and bells to ring and actual two lights that light up the only battery part that it were the two lights on the left and the right that lit up. And uh, little clackety switches in there. It's all part of the defense. The the they, the two different kinds of missiles. You have Nike missiles and uh, the the Bomar missiles and all the fuel systems. And if you could look closely, we're going to look at this nice little 3D radar. It, it, it simulates three dimensions. It's concave inside and it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing to play with. And you can see you have your altitude and your velocity. Nike fuel and the Bomar fuel. Those are your missiles. So you can control all your missiles and uh, you really had a lot of imagination with this. I think that was my favorite thing. But then there's the launch tower which is so amazingly complex. And here it is. As you can see there is a whole control center that slides back and forth here. It's got the little radar and a couple of officers that sit inside. There's a clear plastic. Uh, there's a clear plastic defense shield, and here you have this great little railroad car that carries the three different uh, nose cones. And the nose cones, the, the, the rail car can go back and forth on this nice little rail system. And the nose cones go all the way up to the top of the gantry by means of this nice little hook and this crane system that it has a 360 degree rotation 
And you also have this great little elevator system where the, here I have an astronaut ready to go up the elevator and you have another crank and you get to the top of the gantry and you can pull him out you can see the crank there and you can put him in the nose cone or just talk to the officer I have an officer giving the uh, astronaut some instructions and this whole thing it moves back and forth the gantry moves back and forth and of course this is ready to fire it will fire up in the air it's on a spring it goes about four and a half feet in the air not too far but it's a lot of fun there's the uh, firing mechanism there and I was lucky to have a complete set available spent a little too much money on it but it's got these things these things are very delicate very hard to find for the X500 they, they, they're very fragile any excess playing and those things snap right off but they look so neat those those 1959 sort of the the, the bumper look that the uh, fins and bumpers and as you can see this is very very 59 looking with the all this fins and you know, this little logo here which is sharp looking and of course the logo itself the X500 well folks enough bragging it was my favorite toy as a child I went and got it again as a as an adult or as a whatever I am instruction sheets and I was amazed that my father put this together for us for Christmas and he uh, put all the decals on set up all the fencing the fencing is the most delicate aspect of this as you can see it, it can be very easily disturbed or ruined by excess play I was lucky that this set right here is in fabulous condition it is totally totally together and I actually got a couple of rockets from this set's little brother the rocket base and I could fire those two off of my little platform the X500 from reading probably the best Christmas toy ever the best Christmas toy ever thanks for watching